Well, my family doesn't speak to me. My Persian family doesn't speak to me because I became a belly dancer. The first awareness of it was knowing that my father forbade my mother to dance. And he told my mother that he would break both of her legs if she ever stepped foot into a nightclub ever again, because my mother was a belly dancer. And that's how they met. And he was a drummer. But then it's different when you marry the belly dancer. And he said to me, I don't want you to play finger cymbals in the house. I don't want you to play Arabic music in the house. You know, just slowly. And then, so, and then he said, if you go to the clubs, I'll break your legs. So that was a good one. Eventually, um, I just became subdued. The producers are all men. The club owners are all men. The band is all men. The waiters are all men. The last thing I want to do is to please a man. I'm not dancing for men. Here's the best part of this country, is that we don't connect belly dancing to the culture of the Middle East. This is great. I mean, you know, we see a pretty girl in a skimpy costume that can't have anything to do with the Middle East. The Middle East is this depressing, repressed place. So somehow, uh, belly dance has become the mascot for freedom in the Middle East. And the dancers that are from the Middle East and are in the Middle East and are dancing, they are considered like prostitutes. So taking a prostitute and putting them on a poster